Now, I've been asked if I could tie a leech pattern. Now, uh, they're not the prettiest flies in the world, they're just basically kind of rough type looking. Uh, in this case, this is a jonker, uh, meaning it's tied with the, the rabbit the rabbit strip. Uh, makes for a good fly. I'm using a, uh, what they call a Franz 15mm uh, fritz. Now, it's really quite simple to tie. As I'm tying this is a size 8 streamer hook. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to add a wee bit of lead to it. It's just sticky back lead. So I'm just going to add it on. Just a, add a tiny bit of weight so that you can obviously fish it close to fishing it close to the bank, close to weed beds. Uh, this is where the leech will be hanging about, and the fish do do go for them. Best colours are black, brown, olive. These are all good colours. Now I'm using a fire on thread, which seems a bit unusual, but I want an aiming point. As you can see in this fly, I've, you can see it in the head, but uh, these are not exactly touching turns of the frets. There's wee open turns, and you can see the actual thread showing through. So, but the first thing we're going to do is make sure the lead's well tied down. So I'm going to run up and down a couple of times. Now I'm using a uni thread 80, which seems off a fine for a fly this size, but it suits suits me. So just make sure you cover the lead. You could use a floss to, to run up and down, but I'm trying to keep it reasonably as thin as possible. You want it quite quite sparse. The, the leeches do stretch out and they're quite thin. Now what I'm going to do is tie in the the fronds on the way down. So we take away some of the flash so that so that again there's less bulk. It's the length of the body. That should catch it on. Nice and tight. Make sure it's tied on and come back up. We tie in the zonker strip. Now I'm using just this is Basically, I bought it in a pack, a brown. You can buy the zonker strip already done. You don't need to buy the full skin, but if you can't, then you can obviously cut it to suit. Now, length you're looking, at least the length, I like double the length of the body tied on, so it's there. So I'm just going to tie this on at the head area. Good four or five turns, making sure it's not going to move. A nice straight cut across there, you can take the edges off either side. Wax on my thread at this point, making sure there's plenty of grip. Secure than the, the rabbit. Take a wee bit more off here at the tip of it. I say the orange fire orange thread is, is a good even point. The uh, our main colours I like using like a chartreuse, a lime green as well for the head. So there we are, well tied on. Then we can make sure the fritz is pulled out. The fronds anyway, is just towards the back. Get a turn, half turn to start. Now what we're going to do here is just open the, the rabbit out so that we can get these turns in here. First turn is like we can round, make position the, the strip, and then what we can do is really tighten up onto this, make a wee space, and allow fronts to come through, come back up, good moisten it just to make it easier. Just moisten your fingers so that the hair can get, we can, can control it a wee bit better anyway. As I say, you don't want you want this sparse, so just adds a wee touch of movement to the fly. Work your way up. If you feel you haven't got enough rabbit fur up the top, you could always add a wee bit in, but you, to be honest with you, you don't need a lot. Nice and tight. Now there's leeches all around the world, 
even in Scotland we have leeches. Not so much the kind that stick to you and suck the blood out of you, but we do have them. A few turns in here, secure in. Now, okay, save your scissors. A Stanley blade here. Trim that away. So anything going forward, just throw it back. Tidy up, tying in the waist of the, the fronds. Now you, you can use a finer. There is a micro version of this. Uh, there's for the, if you want a thinner or a smaller fly. And then we can wind up and finish off with a wet finish. Just tidying the head up at the same time, you can do that. Tighten. And there we are. It's a bit rough looking, I know, but this is what these flies are like. Uh, you can see the in the zonka strip it's through, but it's quite light. So is it? Then all we have to do is finish off with, um, for speed in my case I'm using super glue. You can see the orange showing through in this one. Uh, when the street, when the, the leech actually stretch out, the, there is a lighter colour between the sort of bands, especially the olive one. If you ever see the olive, it's kind of it's very yellow like, and it's, a, it's an amazing looking colour. So there we are. That's my, my leech pattern, the brown leech. Uh, as I say, if you don't want the orange, you need to use the normal brown thread or black thread uh, to darken it down. I say the other two colours would be black and all of them would be ideal colours to use. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>